What I want to do today is connect OpenAI to Zapier so that whenever we create a new push in our Zapier Chrome extension, we'll receive an article summary. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial so you could try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a Zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. I'll want my Zap to be set up using the Zapier Chrome extension app. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click push as my event and then click continue. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime we press our Zapier Chrome extension button, it's going to run this workflow. Our trigger tab will then open up. We can leave this section blank and click continue. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click test trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click continue and we can start creating our first action. We'll need to extract the data from our website. We can do this by using Zapier's web parser app. Type in web parser into the search bar and select it on the drop down menu. Next, click parse web page and click continue. From there, I can assign our trigger apps data into the action apps fields. Under URL to parse, I'll click tab URL and click continue. Click test action and we can move on to our second action step. We'll need to format our parsed data and could do this using our formatter tool. Click the plus button on the bottom of the screen and then type formatter into the search bar. Click text and then click continue. From there, we can start to assign our trigger apps data into the action apps fields once more. Start by clicking truncate under the transform dropdown. Under input, select content and then under max length, choose the max length of characters you want your zap to analyze and then click continue. Click test action and we can move on to our next action step. Click the plus button on the bottom of the screen and type OpenAI into the search bar and select it on the drop down menu. Next, click send prompt and click continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate OpenAI with Zapier. To do this, go to your OpenAI page, click the top right button of your screen and then select view API keys on the dropdown. Click create new secret key and then copy and paste it onto your authorization screen. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Let's enter our data once more into the action apps fields. Under prompt, I'll type in a custom message. I'll type summarize this article and then select output on the dropdown and then I'll click continue. Click test action once more and we can move on to our last action step. Click the plus button on the bottom of the screen one last time and type in Zapier Chrome extension on the dropdown. Under event, click reply to Chrome under the dropdown and then click continue. From there, we can fill out our action data one last time. Under message title, I'll type in a custom message. I'll type summary and click title under the dropdown. Under message details, I'll click response and then I'll click continue. Click test action and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, whenever our Chrome extension is pushed, we can create article summaries using OpenAI and Zapier. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier could do so much more with these two apps and thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.